In this lecture, you will learn to describe trends or change over time. In IELTS Task 1, graph with change of time may be given. For instance, charts like this, or like that, or even in the table form. But one thing is common on all of them. They all show time and change of data over that time. Your task is to explain these changes by reporting only key features and making relevant comparison. So to do that effectively, you need key vocabulary to describe trends, grammar and cohesion to connect ideas neatly. Trends can have four situations, rise, fall, going up and down and remaining the same, which is quite rare. It is ideal to learn different variation of verbs in each situation, such as rise can have increase, rocket, surge, peak, jump, or even climb, while the fall can be expressed as plummet, dwindle, drop, deep, decline, or decrease. Going up and down can be mentioned as fluctuate, oscillate, or be erratic. And the last one can be paraphrased as reach a plateau. In addition, your writing or your explanation could be further defined more precisely by using adverbs. So they can be very useful tool in certain situations. For instance, Increase can be further defined by using adverbs such as slowly, gradually, and significantly. Using language elements differently can also help to impress examiner. Verbs and adverbs combination can be also expressed with alternative adjectives and noun structure. For instance, increase slowly can be also written as slow increase or other alternatives as well let's look at the real example from actual writing these trend can be explained as number of students increased significantly from 2007 to 2008 or it can be expressed as there was a significant increase in number of students in the first case, verbs and adverbs combination is used while on the second example, adjectives and noun structure is applied. So, it is recommended that you should try both structure if it's appropriate. So, final summary of this lesson is that you are expected to use wide variety of language structure using noun and adverb combination and also avoiding repetition of verbs that you use to describe the trends.